we get very few students nowadays those who have been uh, a member of IEI as well as IFOA because in the new curriculum the exemptions have been removed right yeah. so initially you started your career with all the IEI exams and then as your company demanded you shifted to IFOA right so what differentiating factors you feel is there in both the institutes and some myth busters about the Indian Institute like uh, since you have been given, uh, you you have been uh, uh, giving papers consistently from the Indian Institute, and you have also talked some of the papers. So, uh, your take on that? Um, yes. So I started uh, with Indian Institute, and uh, I cleared almost all of my initial papers with the Institute before moving on to IFOA. And um, I think um, in terms of curriculum, both the both the institutes are pretty similar, and even in terms of the. Um, kind of questions that they have on the exams, they are quite similar. Um, yeah, there is definitely a myth that the Indian Institute uh, exams are a little tougher because of the past percentages. But I believe they are not tough, it's just that the percentages they are a little variable. So it, it kind of might change on a term to term basis. So some students might get stuck with the uh, lower term. So they tend to feel that it's tougher. but. Uh, I did not face any difficulty in terms of that uh, uh, any kind of any paper I felt was particularly tough with the Indian Institute as such or which made me to jump or anything like that. So I think that is definitely a myth. So yeah, just the variable part I think one can tackle by solving quite a lot of past few exam papers. I think that definitely helps. Okay. So one thing you correctly pointed out about the variability. Like people often tend to believe that the passing rates are very low but you use the right word as variability because we have seen in some of the terms the results have been as low as 5% and the results have gone up to 50% as well for almost all the exams right so yes variability is the key word that we can take uh, uh, from your uh, experience 